Isn't this the place where you held me down? Your foot on my back, my chest in the mud. Here. Wasn't it? Field Day Theatre Company was founded in 1980 by playwright Brian Friel and actor Stephen Ray. Based in Derry, it brought together the best literary minds of their time to produce new writing exploring the schisms and conflicts within society here. After a hiatus of 15 years, Field Day returned with a clutch of new plays for the City of Culture. The city has moved on. I'm certain it won't move back. But what theatre can do that politics here particularly doesn't do is very subtly open up ideas and language, particularly language. What does it mean to be premiering a Sam Shepherd new play here in Derry? Well, it's a big return for Field Day to get Sam to write a play, to get Nancy to direct it, and I, I really believe we have a world-class group of people here working on this, you know. Sam Shepherd is the Pulitzer Prize winning writer of the out of the way, dusty expanses of the United States. What does Derry feel like for you as a writer? Well, Derry's very close, you yeah. know. It's like, uh, you know, continually you're encountering people and people are right up next to each other, you know, and very friendly. Does the city, where we are now, does that inform the, the play. Sam knew he was writing it for Derry, yeah. so he had it in mind, you know, mm. and I thought it was interesting that, for example, in rehearsal, Sam would walk the walls every lunchtime. For him, it became part of, part of the process yeah. to walk the walls and to see all the different parts of Derry. He's pretty much almost like a domiciled Derry man now. He says, he's, <laughs> he says, he says people know him when he walks it. along the street. Oh, really? <laughs> He's wearing a Donegal tweed jacket. I'm a bit worried, you know. Um, He's gone native, is he? Yes, yeah. I prefer the cowboy. <laughs> um, you know Sam's work inside out, though. I mean, what is it, six plays? I've done his? six plays, yeah. yes. And uh, I, met, I met Sam in the 70s. We both met him in the 70s. And I, I directed a very short play of his, an old play of his. And um, I, think he, I, I think what happened from that was that he felt that we were somehow on the same wavelength, that I, I kind of get his writing. And also add Neil in, or at least to add in the, his light. And as soon as the light starts to come up, Nancy, I should start talking, yeah? Well, just now, I think the, the light was coming up on the floor behind you. Stephen Ray left his native Belfast in the late 1960s to carve out a career as one of the most visceral actors of his generation on stage and on screen and achieving an Oscar nomination in 1992 for The Crying Game. One of the most eagerly anticipated events of the year is the return of the theatre side of Field Day Theatre Company. Set up in Derry in 1980 by actor Stephen Ray and playwright Brian Friel, its return after a 20-year break saw the premiere of two new one-act plays. Now, Claire Dwyer Hogg, a new writer, sees the premiere of her first full-length drama. Thirsty Dust, directed by Stephen Ray, is at the Playhouse. And the Field Day story is also told in a new exhibition here in the Verbal Arts Centre, which runs from May to August. One of the most eagerly anticipated events of the year is the return of the theatre side of Field Day Theatre Company. Set up in Derry in 1980 by actor Stephen Ray and playwright Brian Friel, its return after a 20-year break saw the premiere of two new one-act plays. One of the most eagerly anticipated events of the year is the return of the theatre side of Field Day Theatre Company. Set up in Derry in 1980 by actor Stephen Ray and playwright Brian Friel, its return after a 20-year break saw the premiere of two new one-act plays. And the Field Day story is also told in a new exhibition here in the Verbal Arts Centre, which runs from May to August.